Jet's parallel jaw clamps work very easily, they adjust easily, and they feel very substantial. And there's a lot of good reasons for that, and we'll take a look at a few of them. The handles are large diameter, shaped nicely, and they have rubber inserts that give them a good grip. They're also very easy to turn. Part of that comes from the Acme style thread that doesn't bind up when you get a little sawdust in it. The key feature of the jet clamps is this trigger release mechanism. Unless you engage this, the clamp head will stay wherever you leave it, so when you pick the clamp up, it doesn't slide on its own. When you want to position it, just lift up on the lever a little bit, slide the clamp in position, and let it go. The clamp head is locked, you can then, you can then adjust the pressure on it. The bench dogs screw into the adjustable end piece and the fixed jaw. It can be used full length when you have a workbench with the bench dog holes in it already or the shorter top piece unscrewed for each one and used in a three quarter inch hole in material that's three quarter inch thick. The bench dogs can also be used in the cross dock framing blocks. Again you can use the full length one in a workbench with bench dog holes or the shorter piece for making your own clamping board. You can make a clamping board out of any straight piece of three quarter inch thick stock. Right here I used a piece of Luan plywood. I just laid out a grid, drilled three quarter inch holes on centers at several locations that seemed likely. Install the bench dogs and you can just drop the clamps in and whenever you return them to those spots the clamps will be square and they won't slide around when you're trying to use them. The cross dock framing blocks are really nice when you have to clamp up things like a picture frame, a box, or other things where you need to hold more than just two sides. You can use your clamping boards, set the blocks out as you need them, set one set of clamps in the deep slots that go all the way to the bottom, that sets the clamp flush on the table, and then your cross clamps go in the other set and that holds them flush with the top of the framing blocks. Then you're able to apply pressure from both sides. The clamps are square and the setup is almost instantaneous. The cross dock framing blocks can be installed using the bench dogs as we showed earlier. Or they have screw holes in each corner so you can make whatever pattern you need and permanently attach them to a board if you have one job that you do frequently.